Hello everyone, welcome back to another Wandering Monk video. We have got a very interesting video today. So um, firstly, apologies. Um, I have not done a video now for about a month. So apologies guys uh, for that. Been a lot going on in the, uh, in the monk's life just lately, with various bits and bobs. But all that to one side, we are back and we are on the River Medway. And today um, I am gonna attempt to kayak with an overnight wild camp from Tunbridge to Allington Lock. So I've parked the car up at Tunbridge, which is a little way up there. It's about one and a half K. I've already done a little bit of kayaking already. I was going to do a setup video to show you guys, um, you know, how you set up this kayak and all that kind of stuff. But I'll be honest with you, it was a little bit carnage up there. A lot going on. As you can imagine, it's a glorious day today. So lots of people are trying to use the, uh, the river slips. So I didn't want to sort of, um, take up anyone's time um whilst i was trying to video and stuff like that because i just felt it'd be a bit unfair on everyone else so um i've gone down to the first lock um which is closed off um because there's a lack of water flow going through at the moment so i've just pulled Taj um out i'm gonna walk the kayak down and then jump in again and then carry on but i thought it'd be a good opportunity while i'm here just to show you what i've got so voila there she is that is the intec um k1 expedition pro um which seems like a really cool little kayak at the moment i uh, guys i'll be honest with you it took me if it took me 10 minutes i'll be exaggerating to set that up it was so easy i literally pumped it up all round there was about four bits to do or three bits something like that um jumped in it i've never kayaked before um although i don't mind being on the river and stuff like that um certainly with my scuba diving experience um i've got no issues at all being on the water however life jacket um just to be on the safe side because you never know and um i've gone super super light um uh, for the wild camp tonight so i've got um the uh hammock set up which i which i brought with me in case i can get a hammock set up which i'd rather do failing that um it's going to be uh tarp and bivy um and i'll just sort of rough it on the floor so there is uh have a couple of lads there give us a white fellas <laughs> there's a couple of other lads down there that i'm just waiting to uh, let crack on um just had a chat with those guys there and they've uh, kindly subscribed to the channel so thank you guys have a great day uh, and enjoy yourself um so yeah this that's the, that's the k1 in tech um what can i tell you about that uh, that's an amazon special um a couple of hundred quid or 220, 220 delivered, something like that. Um, so, you know, not breaking the bank kind of stuff. Um, but I thought, yeah, do you know what? It looks sturdy. Reviews were really good on it. It's got a camera holder built in and all that sort of stuff as well. So I thought that's quite handy for YouTube stuff. So yeah, guys, that's the plan. Um, just go with it, see what happens. Uh, and hopefully I'll get to Allington with no issues. And the lovely Mrs. Wandering Monk is very kindly gonna pick me up and then trans excuse me, transport me back to Tunbridge. So let's crack on with this. Let's get the portage done, get in the other side. I'm not gonna film that, because I'll be honest with you, it's not that graceful seeing me trying to slimmy, uh, slimmy, slimmy? It's a new word going in my dictionary, that one, slimmy. Shimmy in and out of a kayak. Doesn't make for good footage, guys, I can assure you. <laughs> so let me crack on. I'm gonna walk this kayak down here, jump in the other end, um, and then we'll crack on and get to the next lock and go from there. So guys, let's have fun with this video. I shall see you in a mo.
guys, we just made it up to the next lock. Nice easy one this one. Hey guys, just coming up to uh, Porter's Lock. See how this one goes. Been absolutely gorgeous so far. Just steady away. It's like an absolute mill pond. Just lovely place to be at the moment. It's like another couple of our people up there. But we're gonna be going right just here. Uh, Try and do this other lock. This is uh, number two level. Okay, what's this like? Intermediate, I suppose. But so far, so good. Let's see how we get on with this one. Let's take it nice and steady. We should be all right. Nice. Show you guys, shall we? Should have a quick look. It's 
right, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's carry on on our little adventure. So far, so good. The, uh, the Intec seems to be old enough, all right. Nice to me. I'm, I'm really, um, really impressed with it so far, actually. Um, love the little foot rests in it. Makes it nice and comfy. And uh, yeah, like I say, I mean, perfect conditions, I think, in my limited experience of kayaking, but perfect conditions for it. It is absolutely like a meal pond. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to cracking down a couple of these uh, more locks and then, uh, yeah, we look for a place to wild camp tonight. Fantastic, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, way to spend your day. So guys, just coming up to East Lock. There's uh, quite a few kayakers here. Canoeists, quite a popular spot for sort of changing over and a few people fishing here and stuff like that. So let's give this one a whirl, see how we get on. Hopefully we survive, and then yeah, we carry on and keep going. So so far it's been, I mean seriously, guys, if you've never done this before, I would definitely recommend doing it. It is such an experience. Just such a gorgeous way to travel. Uh, I think we're very lucky, or well, certainly I'm very lucky to have this section of the river, uh, Medway, so close to me. So, um, yeah, let, let's uh, let's do this one and see how we get on. What is this? Ah, oh, this is a uh, level two, so another intermediate again. But. Uh, should be fine, he says. Yeah, and we just crack on, get this one done. How are we doing, guys? All right? Yeah. We're right for don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't watch me. Don't watch me in case I fall in. <laughs> I know there's a level three up here somewhere, but uh, that one should be a good laugh. But hopefully, uh, I might be a little bit lighter by then. I might have drunk a bit more of the water on me and stuff like that. So, that, that was East Lock done, guys. I'm going to continue on. Uh, yeah, steady away. Bring you back in a moment. Welcome back, guys. So, we are just approaching Oak Weir Lock. Um, and again, I have to say, I mean, I mean, such a surreal way to travel up the river. I mean, it's been like this pretty much all the way up here. Like an absolute mill pond. So pleasant. Loads of nature, rakes of dragonflies, ducks, swans. I should have, um, should have filmed a bit, to be honest with you, but I was so sort of mesmerised by my surroundings and just 
you know, being in touch with nature and listening to the sounds that kind of just got a bit taken away with it, to be honest. So, um, yeah, so we, we're literally just traveling on now. We're gonna try this one, Oakweir. Um, on our way, you know, our final destination is Allington. Obviously, we we'll want to do the overnight wild camp. Um, and I'm looking to stop somewhere around, looking at my map now, um, maybe just before Hampstead Lock or something like that. So that, that's kind of the plan. And then to finish off the last bit in the morning um, up to Allington, um, which I've got all day to do. So it should be well doable um, before Mrs. Wandering Monk Lesser comes and picks me up. So um, yeah, so we've got this one now. This is Oak, Oak Wheel. Yeah, Oak Wheel Lock, I think. Yep. Um, not sure what number this is from a uh, difficulty perspective, but we've done lots of mediums so far and they've been okay. A little bit sort of twitchy on the way down because like I say, guys, I've never done this before. Um, uh, and I am slightly concerned about all my stuff going over the side, obviously. <laughs> Car keys and <laughs> sort of wild camping stuff for tonight, food, water, all that sort of stuff. So. But no, it should, should be fine. I think, you know, as long as we're steady away and we don't do anything too nuts, it should be absolutely fine. So we're gonna carry on going. I'm gonna try this one now. I can just see this, this is a, uh, a two, an intermediate. So we, we give this one a whirl and uh, hopefully navigate it successfully. But so far guys, been an absolute dream, really has. Really, I should have done this so much earlier, so much earlier. But uh, definitely going to do this one again, if not other ones as well. The fact that you know you could just knock these things down, stick them in the back of the car, and just go for it, uh, and you know blow them up on site, and away you go. So, right, okay, oak wheel lock, intermediate level. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Line myself up. camera not me <laughs> Woo. <laughs> that was good fun got a bit of a kick at the bottom of that one that was good fun guys that was my camera was moving by the way not me so yeah all good fun all good fun Right, let's crack on to the next one. And um, yeah, we keep going down until we get to the next one after this, which is Sluice Weir Lock. So we try that and then go from there. Right then guys, I shall bring you back in a mo. Welcome back guys. Just approaching another lock now. So I think this one is, so we've done Oakweir. This is gonna be Sluicewear lock, I think. So Sluicewear. And um, uh, hopefully I'll navigate this one a little bit better than the last one. Um, it was the camera that fell over, guys, not me, by the way. So, but I have to say, it was a little bit twitchy when I started sort of listing a bit sideways. Um, but uh, yeah, nah, didn't go in, that's the main thing. So we've got sluice wheel lock coming up. Seems a lot of activity sort of around this area. Um, 
got some big fields to the right of me, um, which seems to have a lot of people camping on there at the moment. Like, um, legitimate campsites, so sort of loud music, barbecues, all that sort of stuff. Which, that's fine. It is what it is. You know, people uh, all entitled to do what they want to do, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, there is some nice tranquil parts in between, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, we're coming up to Sluice Weir Lock. Um, and all in all, I'm feeling all right actually. I thought I was going to be a little bit more tired um, than this, but uh, no, actually I'm fine. Um, arms are a little bit achy, but no, I mean, obviously that's just because I'm working the arms, you know, but all in all, looking pretty good. So yeah, we're going to keep, uh, keep canoeing on, or keep kayaking on in this case. Um, let's do this sluice wheel lock now, get this one done. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just keep sort of venturing on really until we get to our point where we're going to wild camp. So this is a oh, number uh, number three. Uh, this might have been the one I was a little bit concerned about. Ah, let's, let's just go for it, shall we? Well, it goes nothing, guys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, man. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Alright, okay. I've got a bit of a wet ass. That is absolutely awesome. <laughs> In fact, there's a really good spot just to stop here, so I'm just going to recheck everything and maybe have a quick drink of water. That was cool, man. <laughs> Superb. Superb. Right guys, bring you back in a moment. I'm just gonna park myself up here or moor myself. Yeah, that was awesome, man. <laughs> Brilliant. So guys, we are now at, uh, I think this is Hampstead. Yeah, it could well be. I think this is Hampstead Lock. I think we uh, we do this one and then start looking for somewhere to uh, to camp up for the night. So we do this one, see how we get on with this, Hampstead, and then go from there. Really, see all the lovely people there that enjoying a nice uh, beer at the boathouse. Fair play to them. It's very lovely, doesn't it? Hey. Yeah, so we will uh, we navigate this one and then uh, see how we get on. I'm not sure what level Hampstead is at the moment. I'm not sure we'll work it out when we get there. Uh, we'll do this one. Like I say, start looking for somewhere to wild camp. I'm getting quite hungry now, so especially as I've seen all these people munching, which is quite decent. So let's navigate this one then, guys, and then um, see how we get on.
no canoe slide on this one then. Oh, that's right then. Happy days. That's quite good then. Oh, so we're just going underneath the bridge. It's fairly straightforward this one, doesn't it? Oh, mate, that food coming from the boathouse is decent. That's making me proper hungry. Oh, mate. Quite low though this is. <laughs> and that guys is uh Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, oh yielding, yeah. Oh this is yielding. Okay. I think we've got a bit further to go yet to Hampstead Lock. So this is yielding. All good fun. I've got some loos and stuff there on the uh, at the EA place. That's quite handy. So there's toilets there, guys. Um, for future reference. As you can see that. Let me just show you loos and stuff there look, at the at the EA bridge. Right. So let's crack on then. Keep going, and then we're gonna find somewhere to wild camp, I think. So guys, I shall bring you back in a mo. Whoa, guys, welcome back. So, uh, Yildin was that one up there, not Hampstead. So this is Hampstead Lock. Um, got a portage here. There's no um, kayak or sluice or access or something like that. So, and you've got to get out. There's a slip just up here. Let's have a look. So all in all, actually, not feeling too bad. Um, knees are a little bit sore, but apart from that, I'm all right. Um, yeah, it's a slip here, guys. So literally portage out, and then we can jump in. And we get down there. Oh, you're downstairs. Oh, that looks pretty straightforward, to be fair. Yeah, and we can get him back down there. Decent. Right, let's do that then, guys, and then I'm gonna start thinking about uh, a place to wild camp. Getting a bit hungry now, to be fair. So, yeah, right, let's do that. Get the gear across, get loaded back up, and then, uh, yeah, wild camp time. Ideally, I'm looking to hammock, but uh, I have bought plan B, just a basic tarp and bivvy. Um, which we'll do, I don't mind to be fair. So, right guys, let's do that. Let's pick the kit up, bring it in back down, back down over that side, and then we will continue on our little journey. See you in a bit, guys. Hello, fellow wild campers. Well, as you can see, it's uh, kind of pitch black. So, a um, bit of a weird disaster. Well, not a disaster really, so all good fun, is the place I wanted to camp, um, I couldn't get to uh, for whatever bizarre reason. I, t I think I went past it or whatever. So I carried on going and I've now ended up at, where am I now? It's East Farley. East Farley, turn that light on for me. Hey, <laughs> so I'm at East Farley and I've got Mrs. Wandering Monks come to rescue me. Hey! <laughs> so yeah, so I've got Mrs. Was Wandering Monk come to rescue me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're at East Farley? Yes. East Farley. Uh, and there is a, there is the kayak, all looking good. Held up absolutely superbly. Um, so I'm, um, I'm gonna sign off here now, guys, and um, I shall see you on the next Wandering Monk adventure. See you later. Hello, uh, wild campers, and welcome back to this extra sign off uh, video, um, which uh, I thought I'd give you all a very quick update on um, what you've just seen. Uh, prior to this is obviously uh, myself and uh, Mrs. Wandering Monk out there rescuing me from um, uh, Allington Lock. So, uh, things to report back on really with the Excursion Pro. First off, I think absolutely fantastic kayak, really, really good, uh, sturdy, um, fits me absolutely perfectly. It's got everything I need on it. Um, luggage area is really, really good on it as well. Um, paddles, not too bad at all, to be fair. Um, so that on its own, no faults whatsoever. Um, 
where the adventure didn't quite go right with the overnight wild camping is actually all down to me. Um, so the two places that I did really want to wild camp got to the first one, uh, there, there was lots of people there. And the second one, I think I got myself um, so excited about doing the rapids, I'd actually gone past the second point uh, where I needed to wild camp. So which effectively left me then after that, um, trying to find somewhere to um, get out of the kayak because the banks were so steep. Um, I just kept going and going and going, trying to find somewhere. It was getting darker and darker, and it got to a point where I just called it. Um, and then actually, obviously, come and get Sash to come and get me. So, uh, thank you uh, for her for doing that for me, which was great. So we actually got back here yesterday, uh, a little before midnight. <laughs> so quite a long day, but all in all, I think for my first kayaking experience to do, so, um, probably circa 20k in one day, it was actually not too bad at all. Felt all right. Um, wasn't tired at all. Woke up this morning, a um, little bit of uh, achy just on the shoulders there, but actually not too bad at all. So all in all, um, yep, definitely gonna do this one again. Definitely gonna take that bad boy out again, cause that was absolutely awesome, that thing. Um, and looking forward to getting out um, in it again. So I'm just gonna pack her away there for now. Um, and then look at um, doing that um, uh, Midway Canoe Trail again, um, starting off from Tunbridge and obviously filling, uh, fi fishing it, fishing it up, fi finishing up in Allington Lock. So, guys, thanks uh, for watching this one. Really, really appreciate it. Um, all the subscribers and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Love it. Thank you very much. All from the heart, guys. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys on the next Wandering Monk adventure. See you later. Every day I wake up and look in the mirror and hate the person I see. I see the pain hidden behind these eyes and I hate these scars that only I can see. And I cringe at the opportunities I've lost because I hold a heavy weight of past mistakes that can never be undone. And I feel like quitting every single day. But I don't. And yeah, I've got battle wounds deeper than you could ever see. And I live with the hurt. And I've been on the edge of ending it all. And I wasn't afraid to end my life early. And I know you've been there too. And you might be there right now. And if you've been looking for a sign, then this is it. Do not give up on yourself.